Hey, what's up folks? In this video, we're checking out Adafruit's new LED glasses. These awesome new specs are powered by the LED driver board that's got lots of built-in goodies. With the accelerometer, you can make motion reactive projects like these fun googly eyes. With the PDM microphone, you can make audio reactive projects like this spectrum visualizer. You can wirelessly change the color of the LEDs using the Bluefruit app for your mobile device. You can also type out text and send it over Bluetooth to change up the scrolling message. The LED driver board features the NRF52840, which has native USB, so it can work with either CircuitPython or Arduino. The panel has 116 RGB LEDs that form a grid for scrolling text and two LED rings that make this into a unique arrangement. A series of slits run across the PCB, which allows you to see right through them so they won't block your vision when wearing them. I think this is really important, especially if you want to do stuff while wearing them out. They come in four different designs that are sent out randomly, so you'll get the wonder of not knowing which one you'll get. With CircuitPython support, you have access to all the great libraries for making all sorts of projects. You can check out the demo code and get inspired to change it up or write your own using the libraries for CircuitPython. Check out the learn guide on the Adafruit Learning System to quickly get up and running. You can download the ready to go UF2 file from the guide and use the reset button to get into the bootloader mode. Then just drag and drop the file onto the USB drive to automatically flash the firmware. It's a really quick and easy way to get code running without having to install and set up an IDE. You can 3D print your own set of frames and attach it to the PCBs with hardware. The LED glasses driver board is secured to the frame with M2 screws and nuts. The LED panel is connected with the Stemma QT cable so there's no need to solder any wires. The hinges in the two arms are attached to the frame with long screws and a set of hex nuts. With these built-in nose pads, you can wear them more comfortably. For powering, you can use a USB battery bank for long-lasting portability and ease of use. We hope you're inspired to check these out and start brainstorming how these could work in your next project. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.